What is up? And today I have for you the Nike Air Footscapes, as you may know from the title, which is up, down there now? Yeah, down there. Um, pretty inter interesting shoe. Um, I've always sort of followed them along the way. I've been scared to sort of try them out, but I finally bought myself a pair. Um, it's not actually a new shoe, but it's just been transformed like over the years. It was released in like 1996, I think I read. Uh, by a guy named Torin, or Torin Orzek. If I've said that wrong, I apologise. But yeah, he brought it out in the first iteration. He's the guy who brought us the foam posit as well, if you are familiar with those, which I'm sure you are. Just a ton of foam posit shoes. But yeah, I just uh, I like cool, interesting shoes. I just wanted to unbox them, try them on. And yeah, without further ado, let's do that. Okay, so here we are, joined by Bowser today. <laughs> Bringing back some childhood for us. Right. Get these open. Da, da, da. Da. There we are. So these are the black and wolf grey versions of these. They have come in so many colour variants. If you've seen them, you've seen them. I'll post some pictures of uh, different types of those today. I also have a 15% off Urban Industries. I don't know if they ship internationally or not, but you can have a go. There's the code for you guys. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, I threw it and it came straight back. Okay, we can leave that there. Um, so yeah, these are the black and wool grey, like I said. You get a bit of leather on your upper and the toe box, all around the shoe, and then some textile as well to wrap around your foot. These shoes are literally made to wrap around your foot and just make your life easier when you're walking. You've got so much tread as well. And flex, you can see. It's like a waffle design on the foot as well, the grey. So we've got the two-tone sole on there with the speckle. And then some synthetic materials on here on the majority of the upper and a little bit of premium leather with some Nike branding on there. And then this interesting side lacing, uh, so yeah, side lacing design. And also, I like the little things as well, like just that the insole matches the whole colour scheme as well with the red as you can see Are you listening? move that there for you so yeah just an interesting shoe that I wanted to check out try on for it, see how comfortable it is and yeah I think we'll try these on I want to try them on right away so let's get into that okay so let's get these shoes on I want to test how well these actually wrap around your foot they've had some Hirachi NMs because these are the NM ver versions of these and those Hirachis are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. So yeah, without further ado, let's get these on and see if they really are the footscapes or are they imposters. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> they feel really, really strange. I don't know. I don't know if I've got these on correctly. Oh, I can't be bothered to tie all these. I'll tighten them up a little bit. Do all the old trainer insert on one of those. So odd shape, they're really, they're not very um, curved towards the toe area. So I can feel my toes being moved in the, in the position they're not very used to. But looks wise, they look really cool. They just look out of this world. To say it's a shoe that came out in 1996, uh, the silhouette has stayed and they can just do so much with it. So I'll just give you guys a quick look around the shoe. But I can see what they what they say from the uh, waffle design as well. I just feel like this shoe has so much flex and give as well. Let me try locking myself in these and see. Because it feels really secure around the the last half of my foot, but towards the back it doesn't feel that secure. Okay, so I've managed to tie them up. They feel a lot more secure on my foot, to be fair. Um, I think it was just the way that they had been tied. Um, also because of this material missing here, you can see the tongue sort of takes up this region. And the missing material here, I think it, it doesn't secure around your foot completely. So it gives you that little give. As you can see, they're not very uh, tightly in there. But yeah, apart from that, and the little uh, toe area, which my feet do still feel rather strange. 
But yeah, apart from that, just a cool looking shoe. De depends if you want to go for comfort or style, I guess. It's the compromise you're going to have to take. So that was the Nike Footscape. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please leave a like, subscribe, and new videos on Sundays. So I shall see you later. Peace.